I am drowning in clothes, drowning in fabric. Um, I shamefully have clothes all over my house because I like to sew and upcycle and I'm always afraid that I'm going to need something again. But now that I'm in my 30s, my style is evolving. I feel like every maybe three years, something within me sparks and I'm overly inspired to actually go through my wardrobe and all the fabric that I have saved and get rid of it because it just doesn't identify or these pieces don't identify with who I am inside. I think the reason this happens is because I have evolved enough with me as a person, you know, that the uniform that I choose for certain events changes. So for instance, I may have really been into denim shorts for a bit, which I definitely was. And now that is probably the last piece of like bottoms I will reach for in the summer because it's just uncomfortable and tight. So yeah, I have many of those things that I just feel like I don't reach for because I don't feel comfortable. And I keep them in my closet because they are staple pieces, but they really don't make me happy. They just fill this idea in my head that that's what we're supposed to wear or is like appropriate, you know? I use that word appropriate very loosely also. It's not like a way to control what I wear. It's more so like the summer uniform, jeans and t-shirt, shorts and tank top. That is what I mean. Um, like if you were to draw a cartoon character as like a kid would draw, that is what the person probably is wearing. So what I've come to terms with is that my uniform for certain occasions is just, you know, different now. And I prefer skirts, dresses. I'm trying to get into trousers instead of jeans. So you really have to pay attention to what you gravitate towards. And so that is what I will be doing. And I'm not gonna lie, I am stressed. There are four places in this room right now that are holding clothes. There is a dresser, there is a closet, there is a clothing rack there, and then there's this clothing rack, which has mostly formal dresses because I brought them downstairs. So we're just gonna go along on this journey together and just share some of the, the things that go on in my brain when I'm trying to declutter. Also, this is the status of this room because I just had a weekend away and it's just chaos absolute chaos so i've collected a lot of pieces through thrifting because i just love thrifting it is truly such a fun joy sometimes stressful when i'm looking for something particular but i love thrifting so i have quite a few things that i have like tried out that just don't work for me so this is one item that i really love it's a long skirt it's linen and it's beautiful. The color, however, is not for me. And I <laughs> wore this to the mall one day and I filmed myself like being all cute in Barnes and Noble. And I was sitting for a while prior to that. And in this clip, the back of the skirt was all wrinkled. And I was like, well, cannot use that for an Instagram short or TikTok video. So yeah, there is actually evidence of the wrinkling. So I don't, really know like what to do with this because it is nice but I'm going to put this in the like I don't wear this pile and I'll figure it out later. So I have many skirt hangers and I collect lace things like this. These are, well I have two, one black. So I think it's safe to say that I should not be buying any more lace things because you know <laughs> I have to figure out how I'm going to style these pieces. And also thrifting things not in the correct season um, is kind of like discouraging. So I do not recommend. I wanna get into thrifting for seasons because I really tried to thrift some sweaters, um, sweater dresses, and I got three of them last year, I think, or sweaters in general. Here's another one. So I got these for really cheap at this little local thrift store and this sweater right here and you have to lay this out flat to dry. So this reminds me of a pirate shirt, but the thing is the cut is just not right. It is too boxy for me. 
and I think the knit is just too big. It was like probably $2 or $4 or something. So it wasn't super expensive, but this just taught me a lesson. Like I can't do a thick knit that is too close to the underarm because I just feel claustrophobic. So I'm going to get rid of this one, sadly. I keep trying to wear it and it's not working. Here is another situation. I found these pants, they're by Zara, and they were very cheap. And they are like a sporty jogger. And I thought, wow, a pair of pants that seems more formal, that is kind of military. But the thing is, I'm not very sporty. Like I don't dress sporty or streetwear, I should say. And that is my idea of what this is. I did have to fix the button and it is an extra small, but it's just too big, I feel like. I just don't know. Also, like, the crotch is just, I don't know, it feels uncomfortable. <laughs> It just does not look right on me. So yeah, I'm very weird on pants and crotches. Like they have to be perfect and do not beat yourself up about wanting the perfect fit because you're not going to wear the item of clothes of clothing if it does not look right to you. So yeah, that's the trap that I fall for is thinking I'll just let it go, but I won't let it go. I quickly wanted to show you how I have my closet. As you can see, it is all mix and matched, mix and matched. English. I saw this on TikTok and it's basically boutique style. So you just have random pieces of clothing together and you will end up seeing, oh my gosh, this just came off the hanger. No. Anyway, you will end up seeing your clothes together and be like, oh, that looks like a cute outfit combination. For example, I just pulled out this black maxi skirt and this green top. And I think this would look really cute together with a little crop top. I could either tie this or just let it be loose and earthy and flowy. This does have a slit in it, so it would let in some air and it would break it up a bit. And the point is that I never would have thought to put these two pieces together. So yeah, I think it's really, really a good idea. I have so many cute dresses, but not enough places to wear them but it's fine. I will say one thing that has saved me from purchasing things is knowing my color season. So once I could see that certain colors make me look tired or just don't make my skin look healthy, I just decide not to buy those colors. One example that I have in my closet that I refuse to get rid of is like off-white lace. They're just something. <laughs> so these two pieces I thrifted and they are like a cream off-white. This one is, I don't know where I'm wearing this, but I, I need to keep it <laughs> because it's, it's beautiful. So when I style pieces like this that aren't my color, I always make sure to add a color that is in my color season, like black or a deep brown or a deep navy, something that will just help balance out the look. This is something that makes me sad. So I got this skirt from TJ Maxx. It was like $13. And the thing is that I think it's too long. So it goes, I don't know. I don't know if it's too long. The skirt was also a size too big, but now it fits me because I've thickened a little bit. But I'm just not sure if this is the correct length. Don't mind my legs. They look kind of dry. So. It goes past my fingers, which I feel like is a little long. And because it's satin, it doesn't like hold, hold me in. It's just kind of floating around. So I think it has to go because I keep trying and it's not working. I really struggle in the skirt department, guys, because I just, I just love them too much. This stack of skirts in particular is trouble for me. So this one, first of all, is this like 15 years old? This skirt is 15 years old. I wore this when I was 18 for Halloween. It's low-waisted or mid-waisted and I just don't know. It's more of a costume skirt. So that is going to go from this wardrobe. This one is now too small. I did dye it. So maybe someone would like that. And this one I got from YesStyle. I love this skirt, but it's just too stiff and the color just doesn't vibe with me now, but I love the front because it has like, the hardware, but yeah, just not, not very me anymore. And then this one is a bohemian one and I'm 
keeping it because these are not my colors. These like oranges and like copper, but because it has black, I can pair it with something black on top and I'll still be able to wear this color. I almost decluttered this. Thankfully I didn't. And I love that this has little beads. This is a good example of like a bohemian earthy kind of style that I have because it is like a small print and it's a short line because I love long lines but it is nice to have short lines in my wardrobe. Why did I just let that go? I don't know what I'm doing here. Let me put you back on. And also it was summer so I couldn't really wear this. More skirts. This one. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. These are long three long and one short. I just wore this one and I do wear these. This is more of a costume skirt that's living in my wardrobe because some days I just like to pretend like I live in like 1900, a vampire of some sort. That's what's happening there. This skirt, I'm not sure because it might be tight, but I love the flowers. This reminds me of something lace made would sell and unfortunately i feel like i can't really shop from lace made because a lot of the colors are pastel which makes me sad but it's fine so i started this video being like "Ooh, this is gonna be like a declutter but this is more of like sharing what's in my closet and <laughs> what i've been loving and what i've been up to because yeah my closet wardrobe whatever is special to me i love clothing and i don't really get to talk about clothes a lot but yeah my youtube channel really is just a place for me to word vomit what's going on in my head so that's that's what's happening and i'm just accepting it because i am getting tired of just not showing i don't know instagram don't even get me started i don't know i it's like i can't be on there and do stories but maybe i don't know We'll see. <laughs> so over here we have, oh, okay, let's do this. So here we have a tank top holder, which I do not recommend these. They suck to be honest, because it's not easy to get your clothes. And this top, I actually had a way it's by express and it's an extra small. It is what I call like a grown up top, like a work wear kind of top. And I'm going to keep this because this reminds me of the Aritzia one that I have, but this is actually full length. It will hit the pants. So this is a yes. These are like bra tops for working out, but I'll wear them underneath things sometimes. This, this, this makes me sad because I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it is such a fairy core piece. It's this sparkly tank top, it's by Candies. It's so cute, but the length is just, I don't know, it's not quite right because it's full length, so I don't know what to do with it. And it does have to be fixed in some areas, but see, this color is also like not the best color, but the fact that it's, ethereal i don't know i think i have to like actually try to style some pieces so i'll put this in the maybe pile these i'm going to put with actual workout gear because i don't want to keep wearing these in my outfits and that's what i did but it doesn't exactly work because this part is really thick so yeah the workout gear is actually living at the bottom of the closet right now because we're not exactly working out so that's that and this will get its own hanger because i'm really over this Maybe for, maybe if I'm selling stuff, then I'll keep stuff on here. This makes me sad because I don't know if it fits me. Oh my God. But if it doesn't fit me, I can always take out the zipper because there's a zipper in the back, but at least it's up in the front. We'll see. I have to try it on. And then this I love, I have to keep, it's not my color, but I'm keeping it because I wore this on um, our honeymoon and we took pictures in it and this is leaving my closet because it makes me so annoyed well now that i've walked you through a little bit of my thought process on what i'm getting rid of i'm going to try to do as much as i can off camera because i will just talk your ear off forever but i hope this was you know somewhat helpful so far or just simply entertaining because yeah i just like to geek out about clothes